I love the school. I mean, the building is amazing. It's a nicer environment to work in as well. It is a nice place to learn. It's the kind of the future of education. We are Eurieside People Council. We love our school. Aberdeenshire Council um, had embarked on uh, the building of a whole suite of primary schools and rather than do what had happened in the past and build each one to an individual pattern, it was agreed that what would work better would be to have a single design that could be adapted for the different schools. So it had to be flexible in terms of school size and also in terms of school site. Two people, a um, lady from Learning Estates and one of our senior architects, spent quite a lot of time researching this, going around schools in Scotland and England, looking at different plans, different layouts, talking to staff, and looking at what seemed to work and what they didn't think would work for us. From that, they developed what we describe as a kit of parts, a teaching wing with groups of four classrooms clustered into pairs or groups of four, with also um, a hall and a nursery and dining room and various other sort of sections so that we could then take these different components, assemble them on a site, as it were, and obviously once we designed one and got that working, we were able then to learn from that and take that design forward onto the subsequent buildings. The first school we ended up building was um, at Mid Mill in Kintore. That is a school that responds to the site in that the public areas, if you like, the large hall and the dining rooms, they are sloped into the site. So as you enter the school at the ground floor level, you go in and you go at what we call a social staircase and the two teaching wings stretch out from that central core behind the school. If you contrast that with the school we built at Yuri side, where we have a long thin site, at that school the central core is very similar but imagine that with the two uh, teaching wings stretched out like two arms and what we've ended up with there is a long curved school that responds to the site and embraces the river Yuri that it overlooks. Taking that slightly one step further, um, at Market Hill we had a level site, so similar idea, the school then creates a quadrangle with uh, everything on one level. At Kinella we had a different challenge because there the site was much, much smaller and we needed to go to a two-storey school. But again, we were able to take our kit of parts and adapt it. Instead of having the two teaching wings um, both on the ground floor, we slipped one above the other and then we had light wells that punch through the upper floor into the ground floor. So that although the ground floor is basically encased, it didn't feel too dark. And those um, light wells provide interesting connectivity between the two levels. Again, the kit of parts is still there. We've still got the, uh, the teaching um, areas. We've got the large games halls and we've got the dining room separately. The ed education wanted, first of all, they wanted buildings that were flexible, but they also wanted buildings that would encourage things like team teaching, gave flexible layouts for lots of different sorts of learning. So what we did in each set of four classrooms, or each age group, if you like, has an allocation of 80 square metres. But that 80 square metres is split up. 55 square metres is in a formal teaching environment, and the remaining is all bulked together and forms a, a joint shared learning area in between. We don't have any doors, we have quite a lot of glass, so that provides open connectivity between classrooms and teachers. The layout is much better because I remember when I was in P4 back at Market Hill, the two P4 classes, they were next to each other, and the other one was right up at the other end beside the sixes and the sevens. So um, we never really got to work with the other classes as much as we can now. Though you might not be able to interact with the children directly, you know, health and safety wise, you're still able to see them at all times. You're able to see who's in your class and also in the shared area. Just by walking down a corridor, you can you can see what's going on. You get a feel for what's happening in the classrooms, for the learning that's taking place. And there's children working in the corridors, and you can just stop and say, "Oh, let's see what you're doing," or, um, you know, walk past a classroom and just say hi to the teacher. And so it's very easy to engage with the class. And it seems to provide a very bright, um, airy environment. And um, the schools we've seen, um, certainly, we can we can see those open plan areas being used really, really effectively. We can go out in the wet area and we can do some little activities that the teacher says we can do. The philosophy behind the build was that every class teacher would have three areas and able to teach. The classroom itself obviously, the outside space and also the shared internal space where four classes, up to four classes can share 
a shared space in the centre of each zone. There's a middle area between the four classes which the children can use for different things. Um, some of the areas are set up with um, maybe role play corners for the younger children and then further up the school they're used in different ways. This is really useful for having groups to work separately, for having more active uh, teaching and learning and it also facilitates classes working together, groups working together. In the classrooms we have tried to reduce the amount of clutter. Um, we have on one wall we have what they call a teaching wall which is a built-in piece of furniture with shelves, cupboards and in the centre we have um, the smart screen where the teaching is centralised. Um, there are whiteboards at either side with a state-of-the-art clever touch board in the centre and storage space all around and behind the learning wall. So this helps to keep the resources organised, the children can access things easily and they can clearly see anything that is put up for teaching. It's a good height for the children to be able to use. You can do things on both sides of the wall um, and different parts of the classroom can see it and obviously we've got the clever touch board in the middle which is fantastic as well it's been great to have the new technology in this school building as well. Getting a really good ICT solution that is future proof um, was really really important. With the, the infrastructure setup that we currently have it means that we can replace the devices a lot sooner than if they were fixed and wired into the network. The Wi-Fi gives you that flexibility that you're not set by the physical number of connections. So we can increase the number of devices we have in the school without having to install additional equipment. Each classroom is the same, each school is the same, so teachers can move from one to the other and know exactly what resources they're going to have. The dining rooms were really important to education. In, in a lot of um, our older schools, games halls and dining halls are shared. I really like our new gym hall in the school because um, it's bigger and we don't have to eat our lunch in it. We've got a separate canteen, we all like, had to give up PE over lunchtime so um, that we could set up for dinner so we don't have that anymore. We have a cafeteria for everybody and there's lots of seats for everyone so it's quite good at this school. A huge benefit is the fact that we do have a separate cafeteria to haul. It means that we are able to use that space again flexibly and use it for dining times and still be able to use our hall for PE, for sports activities that's required, particularly now that there's the requirement for two hours a week. So having both of those spaces makes a huge difference. It also allows for that space to be used for things like assembly and if we have external meetings coming into the school they can use that space also. The dining rooms are also set out um, to be sociable areas that children can enjoy eating together. Again flexibly arranged so children can eat like they would at home or in a restaurant. Part of the design of the classrooms that um, education were extremely uh, keen on was that children have the connectivity to the outside environment so all the classrooms on the ground floor um, have large glazed screens so you get that visual connection at all times but also they have um, a door that goes onto a little outside teaching area. We use it for various games, songs, singing but also to help with our phonics and their spelling so we'll use chalk on the floor to write their sounds or we'll take various um, construction outside and do various challenges outside and it, it's such a great opportunity for them just to be able to go straight outdoor to do outdoor learning. Once we went outside and did a little bit of chalk for a spelling and it was really nice and we had all fun chats and stuff. The Halliday Fraser Munro um, are one of our term uh, consultants. They were fairly instrumental in getting the first design off the ground which was Torriff Primary School. And although that wasn't the first one that was built, that was the first one that had the design developed. Um, and they also were instrumental in getting Kinella built and having their input there where we had to take our kit of parts and start messing around with it to try and make it work on two storey. That was absolutely invaluable. What was the result of um, uh, the build was two fantastic schools which each have their own personality, but the key characteristics and the key relationships and principles of the brief are adhered to for both of those schools 
and it's fantastic to see that they're completely different looking schools but have that core brief at the heart of them and I think the development with um, Aberdeenshire Council of that brief was absolutely crucial to the schools and it made it a much easier thing to design by setting out those principles in the first place. If you get the principles right and the relationships right then the design is a much easier thing to achieve and it means you've got, got the, uh, the formula right for it.